Hey guys! So today for science class we're going to be doing some summer sensory science outdoors with some easy household objects and tools that you should have laying around your house. So we're going to be making a DIY sidewalk chalk and paint. So for one of our recipes we need flour, dish soap, water, and liquid food coloring. And for our other, we need water, cornstarch, and liquid food coloring. So you ready to get started? Our first recipe is going to be our flour and water. So it is one cup flour, one cup water, and one tablespoon of dish soap. So those again are things that you probably have in your house. I'm going to use a recycled bottle so that I, I have a nice spigot that I can sp um, spout it out of and also so I can use that to help me mix it. So I'm gonna take the top off and today one of the tools we're gonna to be using is a funnel. So a funnel was created by people to help you put a larger item into a smaller item. So we're gonna be taking our funnel and one cup of water. Now I want to make a little more so I'm going to use two cups of water because I might want to do a couple of different colors. So I'm going to put in two cups of color. So we're doing some measuring today. Measuring is always fun and a good science tool. So I've got two cups of flour. I'm going to use my funnel and I'm going to put that into my bottle. I'm going to tap it in. I will include all of these recipes in the links. They're super easy, um, but I will make sure to include those for you. So I'm just tapping my flour down into the bottle. You know what I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use one of my other tools, a paintbrush, to help me get it out of the bottom of the funnel. Sometimes when you stick stuff that is a little more solid into your funnel, it gets a little stuck. All right, so I've got most of that flour in. Let me get some more flour in there. So like I said, our recipe is just equal parts flour and water. So however much flour you put in is how much water you're gonna put in. All right, we've got most of this in here. And actually, I don't think I'm gonna use the two full cups because I think if I use two full cups, I won't have enough mixing room. And I wanna make sure I have enough room to mix my materials. All right, let's see. So let's see, I've got the flour. I put in two cups. I really only used about a cup. So I'm gonna pour that back. And now I'm gonna use my funnel and I'm gonna put in one cup of water. So measure out my one cup of water. Now you can do this inside. You could also do this inside your bathtub. That could be a little fun. Um, but I'm doing it outside. This ends up making a little bit of a mess spilling. Now I need one tablespoon of dish soap. So I brought a little measuring cup out with me that has one tablespoon of, one tablespoon. So now I'm gonna pour this inside of my cup and then I'm gonna shake. This is the fun part, shake, shake, shake. So I have a few different bottles here that I saved. Uh, I've got shampoo bottles, conditioner bottles, and this dish soap bottle. So this is going to be the basis of my outside DIY sidewalk chalk. All right, so I've got that nice and mixed. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So it's gonna make kind of a puffy outside paint. So I'm gonna take, and I'm also gonna put that inside of one of my other bottles so that I can do two different colors. Oops, you know what? Oh, I'm gonna use my funnel. It's always a good idea to have your funnel, right? So I use my funnel to get this out. See, 
I'm going to use the end of my paintbrush again to push that through so that it's a little... We're having science class outside. I love it. I love it. <laughs> We're making DIY sidewalk chalk. Doing great. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So I pushed some of that sidewalk chalk into that bottle. And now I want to put some coloring in this. Actually, I'm going to put a drop of water just so this comes out a little easier. I think it's going to be a little too thick. Let's see. I'm going to do kind of a dark reddish purple. That one. do a little more water in this one just a splash so it seems kind of thick to me so now I've got my DIY purple sidewalk chalk and you know I'm actually gonna do the same color in the other one too because I like that color it was nice and pretty a little more coloring just a few drops of my food coloring like I said I'm gonna put one or two more drops in of water so that it can mix a little better sometimes when you're making a recipe you can tell that it needs a little more of each ingredient all right so now I've got my sidewalk chalk so these two are all ready. I'm going to take a quick pause and then we will come back to make the rest of our sidewalk chalk. All right, we're back for our second recipe. So our second recipe is one and one third cup water, one cup of cornstarch and the food coloring. So I already measured up, um, measured out one cup of cornstarch and now I'm going to measure out one and one third cup of the, of the water right there. Oops, one, yeah, one and one third cup. So I'm going to pour that in. Now I'm going to use my paint brush to mix it up to make my DIY sidewalk chalk. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this sidewalk chalk into a muffin tin so that I have a whole bunch of colors that I can paint with. And I have a couple of different paint brushes. So, let's see. I've got my DIY chalk ready to go and I've got my muffin tin. So I'm gonna pour my chalk paint into my cups. Bye. Bye guys. And I'm going to put my coloring in. So I've got red. I've got purple. I've got my neon green and let's see hi let's see and then I'm gonna make some brown so I'm gonna mix my two colors together because that will actually I'm gonna mix all three colors together that will make a brown color so let's see yep I've got a brown color and I've got a green color. And then I'm going to use my other paintbrush to mix my red and my purple. All right, I'm going to make some paintings and then I'll join you back in a minute. All 
So this is the end result of our sidewalk chalk. This is our cornstarch and water chalk that I put in the muffin tins and painted. Same thing. And then this one is our flower and water one, which I will say I did not like as much. I didn't like the consistency. I had to add more water into it and then it was too soupy when I added too much water. So I definitely recommend this one. Love everyone. Bye.